This Occupy Wall Street is one organization I do not trust at all. And it seems to be one of those organizations that will appear to the majority as grassroots on the surface. But my contention is, and I'm not going to offer any kind of proof, it's just my senses and my senses are good. Trust me, they are good. This organization to me is funded by big money. This is the power that you are actually think you are fighting is rounding you up into this organization. That's my contention. Um, some of the symbology I really can't stand. You know, the clenched fist, um, people and planet over profit. Well, you know, people and planet over profit, this organization, if, if it's so well funded and it's got all this uh, widespread media attention, how come it isn't pushing for the industrial hemp and medicinal marijuana oil? That is people and planet over profit. Hmm? It's not, and it's not going to, because I say this is a false organization. And you know, when they start talking about the only solution is world revolution, I see you're all getting herded into something with this organization. Do not trust it. And you know, March on Bank of America, yeah, really good. You know, that's what they'll do. They march to get out there, and you'll shout some try to make some kind of confrontations and the cops will be told a bunch of stuff and then you know it all works out because that basically is the Hegelian concept conflict produces change and they got the organization right for you right here for the people to get behind I don't trust it I don't trust it and, you know I gotta show this guy right here real quickly Max Kaiser Herr Max Kaiser of uh, you know he talks about the mafia versus uh, Occupy Wall Street on Russia today. This guy I don't trust at all. And you know, I really don't like when they throw this word around the mafia left and right because um, it's not correct. Actually, the mafia, as the true mafia, was always against the oppressors. That's what it's always been about. And actually, some people actually do understand that in a way, despite the movies out there, because. The movies are what most people know, but some people don't understand that actually um, the original true mafia, not the word they throw around, was actually about the people versus the oppressors. In 1282, the French held a tight grip on Sicily and a secret society rose to defeat this oppressive organization. The cry was death to the French, it's Italy's cry. Morte alla Francia, Italia, Anelia. So that was the acronym for Mafia. The Mafia was formed as a secret organization to protect family and to protect the brothers, their brothers. So that's really what it was about. Um, you know, they like to throw the word around left and right. But um, I guess if you consider yourself Mafia in a true sense, you were fighting the power. So my sense, my word is anybody who is actually true, honorable Mafia will be uh, making sure medicinal hemp oil gets out to cancer victims. I mean, that really is the, actually what you want to be doing. This organization, Occupy Wall Street, to me, is a big front for big money. And it's, it's, it's pay, putting the disgruntled masses into something and channeling them in a certain way and focusing on them in a certain way. And the outcome is going to be planned. I don't like it at all. I think it's a big ruse. And you know, the one obvious thing is, all these big groups out there, no matter who they are, you know, Max Kaiser, who has a lot of media exposure, Alex Jones, who has a lot of media, media exposure, and Occupy Wall Street has a lot of media exposure, never really talks about what would really get power back into the people's hands, and that is industrial hemp which has thousands and thousands and thousands of uses which can will actually solve the um, global food problem global energy problem and also um, medicinal marijuana oil hemp oil from the actual marijuana plant that will work to fight cancer work to fight Parkinson's disease and various other diseases um, and it could do it very cheaply when it's, if it's grown widely now that brings power back into the people and takes the profit out of the snake oil sales. So, 
you know, actually, if people want to uh, resist, I don't think they should get into organizations like this, the Occupy Wall Street movement. They have to just work together. They have to work together clandestinely and do what's correct and right and moral for the people. And in effect, when you're working clandestinely and it's for an honorable code, you actually are what is originally considered the mafia. The mafia was an honorable society despite the media movies out there about various things, you know, how they portray things in all these BS Hollywood productions. You got to remember, it's a BS Hollywood production. That is not what it's always been about. And, you know, when Max Kaiser throws this term around here like this, uh, you know, first off, his lack of stating anything about uh, real solutions for the people versus, you know, getting behind organizations like this tells me he's got he's something else. There's something else with this guy that is not right, and I don't trust it. So Max Kaiser, Alex Jones, and whatever have you out there for alternative media that ignores the truth and just wants to get people funneled behind organizations such as Occupy Wall Street so, you know, they, they get focused in on issues that aren't going to help them, like just marching in the streets against the Bank of America, like a hell of a lot of good that's going to do. A hell of a lot of good that's going to do. It's just a big ruckus. It's a big circus show. It's media attention. It does nothing. If you really want some power to the people, get industrial hemp grown, get additional hemp oil from the marijuana plant manufactured, and get that out to cancer patients. And if whatever way you got to do it, you know, if you're doing it, in, if you're doing something for you know the preservation of life, that's an honorable thing. So, um, not to put too much word out here about this, but you know, just remember there always is a honorable reason uh, behind saving life and um, you know getting behind these kind of like feel-good organizations I think they're a load of it I don't trust anything and you know I don't really trust the symbology usually this when you see this type of symbology like with the clenched fist and everything like that uh, power to the people over profit you know the only solution is world world revolution this really smacks of the same old communist kind of garbage stuff that was used to mislead people in other countries. And that's really what I see Occupy Wall Street as. And you can notice, you know, it's it's something that the old, the major alternative media is behind. The major alternative media is behind. So I don't trust the major alternative media at all either. So including the major media. So well, let's just put this up to uh, free speech because it's just my opinion. I don't trust this thing. And I word to the wise that uh, people be cautious about getting behind some of these movements. And any movement that has large media exposure that does not mention the power to the people through industrial hemp and medicinal marijuana oil, uh, they are highly suspect. You would think they're financed by the elite then.